Those wind gusts whipped through the town of Hugo at 111 miles per hour. Our meteorologists and seasoned storm trackers on that storm arriving in Hugo minutes later. Matt Makins and Corey Reppenhagen have tracked dozens of our storms across the area this season, bringing us real-time pictures and information on the most threatening weather. And they know what they're doing. You guys all all right? We are more than storm trackers. We are also journalists. We have a responsibility to report how storms affect people. Tracking storms is about gathering information and imagery and to pass that on to the public as quickly and accurately as possible. We walk just about every city block, mostly tree damage, a little bit of structural damage, but look behind. It starts days in advance, noting large areas that may be affected by severe storms. This area can cover several states. Firm plans are made the night before the chase. We decide what gear and crew assignments are needed to handle the amount of chasing. The day of the chase, it's an early morning for Corey and me. We meet early, load the truck, and hit the road. So we can use modeling to get it to a general area and then radar to get a bit more specific. But then once we find a storm like this one behind me, it really is just honestly watching the storm. How does it change over minutes? Because that's faster using your eyesight than waiting for the radar to update. We know this storm behind us really is not all that organized. So we're going to let it push on by. and will await the next group that will come through. Once we see that well-organized storm worth following, we rely heavily on our eyes to watch the development and radar to track its movement. In the case of the Aurora tornado warning, we had to move quickly with that storm to be safe, but had to deal with the most dangerous thing for chasers, stopped spectators. We're having to move to get into a better position and out of the way of danger of the storm. I got to tell you, there are so many gawkers on I-70 right now just stopped, and they are in a terrible place to stop their cars. We work together to film, observe, report, and navigate. One of our biggest concerns is to always have multiple road options in case the storm makes a sudden change. Tell us about your safety there, Matt. Can you stay where you are for very long, or are you going to have to get out of the way? Uh, we can stay here just fine. We're in a very safe spot. We could just saddle up here and, and be fine. Always thinking ahead is the only way to stay safe and bring timely information. Information is needed most after a storm hits. Residents may need medical attention. To be first on scene helps pass along critical information to the public. We were first on scene during Hugo's wind damage event. Did you hear the tree damage or just come out to find it? In the case of Hugo, we quickly saw the damage was from wind, not a tornado. We knew this based on the type and severity of damage. After a storm hits, we survey the area to look at the types of buildings hit and their damage, damage to trees, etc. Here's how that breaks down. Based on that damage, an EF0 is assigned to the weakest tornado. For this rating, there's typically shingle or siding damage to homes, some broken branches, and possibly very small trees are uprooted. An EF1's damage gets worse with broken windows and doors, severe roof damage, and mobile homes may be moved. EF2 ratings apply to lifted roofs, shifted foundations, destroyed mobile homes, lifted cars, and snapped trees. An EF3 tornado will take the roof completely off of a home, leaving just the exterior walls standing. Devastation hits with EF4 tornadoes. The wind, more than 207 miles per hour, will wipe homes from their foundations and treat cars like missiles. Incredible damage results from an EF5's wind over 261 miles per hour. These monsters will completely clear homes from their foundations, leaving only the concrete slab behind. Large commercial buildings will suffer damage. Basically everything above the ground level is gone. Meteorologist Mamakins, 24-7 weather.